Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. My name is Kafui. If you're new, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today officially kicks off my birthday maintenance vlog, maintenance series, a birthday prep, all the good things. Right now, I'm actually running a little late because I have a nail appointment scheduled for 11:30. It's 11:34, so girl, I need to go. Especially because that nail salon is really, really booked. So I've got to go. I just wanted to start off this vlog, introduce it so that you have an idea of what's going on. I'm starting maintenance off a little early this time because of the way my scheduling looks for the next two weeks. My birthday is in about two weeks, give or take, so I'm starting everything early. I'm flying out in two days to go celebrate my boyfriend's birthday with him. Our birthday season around this time gets a little hectic because our birthdays are so close together. So we're trying to find ways to celebrate each other. I just want to make sure that at least I have some things done so I'm not pulling up with my nubs and my toes grow up because right now it's just not giving it's embarrassing he doesn't really care but like for myself i just need to make sure you know it's giving with all that being said girl let me go put my coat on it's snowing outside and i'll see you at the nail salon the assignment this time if you remember on my end of 2023 vlog when I went to go get my nails done that was terrible but this time she did good and of course it was my girl Mimi you know I never doubted you Mimi I never doubted you I always had my faith in you I knew you could give what it needed to be gave and she did it I was a little nervous I was a little nervous because of how she did me last time but I was like I'm gonna have faith in my girl and I'm gonna have the faith of a mustard seed enough for her to do what she needs to do and she executed excellently I love my nails I also got my toes done, so my toes are looking good. She gave me a little massage, a TLC that I really needed. These past couple days have been rough for me, girl. I'm so, so happy with my final look. I made it back home by the grace of God yet again. I feel like in my vlogs, it's a reoccurring theme for me to be like, I made it back home. I made it back home by the grace of God. But like, what's happening out there is crazy. It's the definition of crazy. How do we go from having 50 degree weather, 60 degree weather, close to 70 degree weather, sunny skies, clear skies, to snow and gloominess? We went from that to being in 30 degree weather, 20 degree weather and below the math is not mathing to me this is what i will call the march madness i hopped back on because i wanted to put you on i wanted to put you on to tea so i was thinking back on my nails i was also thinking back on how much it cost surprisingly it didn't cost that much it did not cost me an arm and a leg this time also considering the fact that i got my toes done as well i think i unlocked the secret and that's what i'm here to put you on to. The original owner of this tip is my mom. She put me on years ago and I just didn't want to listen to her. I was like, girl, why would I do that? She said, look broke, dress broke. Don't go to the nail salon. Don't go to work looking like you got all this money, like you make all this money. And specifically at the nail salon because they charge you whatever the 
they want to charge you. Yes, they have the price layout, but I promise you, it feels like they never stick to it. The price just jumps. I've gone to that nail salon so many times now. I really like them, so that's why I keep going. But the price is always fluctuating. I promise you, they just tell you what they want to tell you. They just make it up as they go. Also, notice how when you sit in their chair, they start questioning you about your life, about what you're doing, the work that you do, because they want to figure out how much they could milk out of you. Lately, my new thing has been, not that I've been dressing or anything or putting it on, but I've been making an effort to look broke to look like I don't got no money, to look like that. But I think it worked in my favor this time. I'm literally just wearing this sweater. I wanna say it's an ugly sweater because what type of happy face is this? That worked into my favor. I'm just wearing some regular sweatpants, that's it. I even feel like the fact that I wore earrings was a bit too much, but we'll work on that next time. Next time I'm gonna just come, my hair is gonna be all crazy. They may even allow me to get away for free. Yeah, I don't want to get heat. This tip might just be useful for you. Be careful how you do it because you, you don't want to look like that's what you're doing. Don't ever say I never did anything for you because I feel like that's one of the major things I've done for the rules, for my rules on this channel. When they ask you what you do for work, tell them that you don't do nothing, that you're unemployed. I'm not promoting lying, but I am promoting saving money. Two things can be true. I've got my carry out. I'm ready to eat. I'm hungry. I've not eaten anything all day. I feel good because I woke up today feeling like an ogre. But now I feel good because I got my nails done. And that's all I got. Like, just wait till I get my hair done. Till I get my brows done. Just wait till I finish all my maintenance. Ooh. That's all I need to say. It's a few hours later now and it's time to do our eyebrows and our wax. Specifically, I'm gonna be doing my brow tinting. It's been a while since I've done this, but I've done this for so many years at this point that I believe that I'm still a pro at it. Let's just go ahead and get into the brow tinting. First and foremost, I'm gonna take a cotton round, wipe my eyebrows down because as you can see, I did my skincare routine this morning and I have oils and products all over my eyebrows the tint won't really stick to your skin if your skin is oily so i'm just going to wipe that area down just to get that place a clean i already shaped my brows using my nair technique that i showed in a previous vlog before so my eyebrows are already nicely shaped and ready for us to go so i don't really have to do that extra stuff for my brow tint i've been using these Bidgeon hair dyes. The color is 58 and 59. 58 is a dark brown and 59 is a jet black. What I feel like is the perfect brow color for me. My reason for tinting my brows, which is probably the same for a lot of people, is to just fill in my brows and to just give more shape to it and more pigment. My brows already look good, don't get me wrong. I just feel like I would just have that shape naturally without having to necessarily go in with my brow pencil on a regular basis anywho this is a super ghetto girl what i'm about to show you is really ghetto so don't even judge me okay i know you're probably judging me already before i say this but don't judge me girl I'm telling you now to not judge me i don't have little acetone cups so i mix my dyes in this bottle cap yeah listen you gotta do what you gotta do okay and this is what i've been doing for years i also have my eyebrow brush you're gonna need a brush for this as well so that you can be really precise before i actually start tinting i'm gonna take a little spoolie and brush my eyebrows that way i can really really see what's going on and where i need to focus the majority of the dye now for the actual tint i'm gonna take my eyebrow brush dab a little bit of the tint not too much just kind of start going in i like to start with the tail end of my brows and just kind of apply it as if i was going to shape my brows with an eyebrow pencil essentially i'm doing as I work my way further into my brow, I like to apply the product in an upwards motion to simulate hair-like strokes because I don't want to have cinder blocks on my brows. I definitely want the tint to mimic my natural brow hair. 
Also, I'm not being heavy handed at all. I'm being as light handed as I possibly can be because if you mess up, you're gonna be looking like that for a couple days and I don't want that for you. I also don't want that for me. What I always get nervous about when I'm tinting my brows is how dark they look at first. They look absolutely beautiful when they're fading, but when you first remove the tint, my gosh, they are dark. It, it looks crazy, I'm not even gonna hold you. I'm probably gonna have to do this and touch it up again when my birthday is even closer because again this fades in about seven days depending on your routines and all of that so I'm definitely gonna be touching it up. This is how we're looking currently. The left brow has basically already dried down and this one is still wet but once it dries down it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna leave it on for a few minutes probably about 10. For real for real I'm probably gonna leave it on until I'm done waxing the pit that way it can fully dry down and the color can really take into my skin now it's time for the armpits girl it's time for us to wax and get rid of all this hair <laughs> yeah it's always a crazy reveal i already have my wax warmer here it's been warming up for a while now so it's pretty ready to go especially at this consistency i feel like it's perfect i've done this so many times on the channel before so you probably know the drill i've already gone ahead and wiped my armpits down along with my chest area with a cotton round and some 99 percent isopropyl alcohol just to disinfect the area and clean everything then before i actually wax i'm gonna use my pre-wax spray from the tress wellness which is also where the wax one kit is from that's basically where everything that I'm going to be using today is from but I just use this to dehydrate the region that way there are no extra oils in our way when we're waxing I'm gonna let that dry down a little bit girl before we start waxing I look so crazy right now I feel like this is probably the craziest that I've looked on YouTube I love waxing so much because I used to have so much hair growth in this area. It's hereditary for me. But since I started waxing the region, the hair just grows back so much thinner. And it takes a long time to grow back. So waxing is where it's at. to get back to these brows these brows have been sitting for a while now it's now time for us to rinse them off or wipe them off and see what the final look is giving I'm just gonna take a little piece of paper towel wet it preferably for me with some warm water and then I just start kind of wiping it off oh my gosh I'm so scared <laughs> look at how dark that is you just want to keep wiping it until there is no more product that shows up on the tissue. Little to no product. Granted, it is bleeding through from the first pass that I did, so you won't be able to clearly see anything. But let's do it on this side of the tissue where there's basically nothing so you can see what I'm talking about. So still a little bit of pigment, but not too much, which means this is most likely what it's going to look like. Okay, I'm not mad at it. I still got it, okay? Even after all those years, your girl still got it. The technique on deck. I'm gonna do the same thing over to the other side. When you first wipe it and you see how dark it is, it's just no more is wiping off it's not wiping off <laughs> no more this is basically it i'm gonna wipe it once more looks like this is what we're working with this is our final brow it turned out so good if i do say so myself i'm just gonna comb my 
brows up a little. This brow went from having no tail to having a tail. This is my favorite brow. She looks good too. Now, time for me to take care of my girl downstairs so that she looks just like the rest of the places that we just waxed. These can take me up to three hours, which I'm not looking forward to, but girl, you gotta do what you gotta do. My birthday's coming up. Good morning, girl. Happy Friday. Today is Friday. Ignore everything that's going on back there. You're probably going to see it. It's just trash that I need to take out, but it's sitting there right now. Ignore it. I'm in the process of doing a whole lot of things right now. So just whatever you see, ignore it. Focus on me and what I'm about to say. If you can't tell, by the way, I'm looking right now and my hair bang out. Today is the day that we get our hair done. <laughs> I am so excited for this. If you're a woman or you have a woman in your life, then you know exactly the feeling that I'm feeling and the excitement that is behind it. Today is the day that I get to look like myself again. Today is the day that I get to look like a bad beat again, period. And I'm just excited for that. I'm actually making good on time today. My appointment is at 10 o'clock. It's currently 9.29. Got up early, got dressed, packed everything that I need for the next several hours. I'm gonna be getting some braids, some boho knotless braids. So I'm gonna be giving the girls eyelids. Island. Island grill. You know what I mean? And I'm just ready for that. Mm. Out of all my maintenances, my hair appointment is the one that I look forward to the most. So, so that I can still make good on time, girl. Let's go. Catch me dangerous. Been so lost without you all around me. Just got out of the nail shop and I love my hair. I feel like myself again. I feel like I'm basically birthday ready at this point. If I don't do anything else, I'm ready. I did my nails, did my toes, my hair is done. I'm done. It's all good. As long as you have your hair done and maybe a little nail, then you're good to go. Ew. At this point, my birthday is now two days away. Is it two? Yeah, today is Friday. Your girl is feeling good. She's feeling great. But, girl, of course I did a little something. Let me tell you what I did. I booked a very, very last minute lash appointment because I was like, I want to not be putting on lashes. I don't know. I feel like I look so good. I'm trying to also get really used to my face because in about two weeks, I will be getting microblading. So I want to make sure that I like the way that it looks with my bare face. But at the same time, I was like, I'm going on a trip literally tomorrow. And I just thought when we're out and about, I want to look put together without doing too much. And I felt like having a little lash would do that for me. And so that was the reason why I booked the last minute appointment. I have so much to do today, but I was like, let me just squeeze that in real quick. So that is what we're up to in the foreseeable future. But I love my hair. I didn't really get to see the full look. I'll see it once I get home. So I am running a little bit over time. Hopefully she still lets me come. I'm going to let her know that I'm on my way now. See you when I get my lashes. Smell of your perfume. I thought I was immune. Looking around this room. so much you're welcome 
I'm glad that you love them. I feel like I just came alive or something. <laughs> Like, as soon as I rose, I, I love that. that. Make sure we said that oh, at the same crazy. time. Make Maddie, sure y'all book me at B Lashes 101 on Instagram. Okay, period. And hopefully follow my soon to come YouTube channel, The mm -hmm. Lash Tech Vina. Yeah. Follow her, y'all. She did a great job. Do you see this? I'm glad you love them. Mm. They look yeah. so good. Yes, they, they do. They definitely give me birthday. I love them. B yes. Lashes. It's a couple hours later now. I am exhausted. It's like 10 p.m. I've been out all day, over 12 hours. My day of maintenance only took a full day, literally. I had no idea that that's what it was gonna take, but I'm really, really happy with the results. I'm still getting used to my lashes though, because it's been so long since I've had lashes, so I'm really trying to get used to having these on my face. I don't know if I have hooded eyelids because I have a lot of skin right here. I don't know if that's the reason why sometimes lashes look a little weird on me. I don't know if I'm just making it up or if I'm reading a little too deep into it. But whenever I get a fresh set, it always takes me some time to get used to it because sometimes I scare myself. Immediately when I see myself in the mirror after a while of not looking at myself, I'm just like, ooh, jump scared. But it, it really be like that. I spend so much more time without lashes than I do with lashes. So when I do have lashes, it's just like, oh, okay, that's different. And then it takes me a couple days to get used to it again and then I'm all good. With my hair and my lashes, our maintenance is complete. Some of it I did myself, most of it I got done, but nonetheless, it all came together. This brings us to the end of our birthday maintenance prep. I'm all ready to take my birthday on in two days, two days, and your girl is gonna be big 25. I'm so excited for that. And I'm just so excited for my frontal lobe to just develop if you like this video then definitely don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video which is probably going to be a little travel vlog mm -hmm. so stay tuned i love you girl